Hello everybody, my name is Jack and welcome back! Welcome back for another Italian language lesson. Today I will continue to drastically improve your skills as an Italian speaker. To talk about on how to build basic sentences in Italian language. Today's lesson is focused on verbs. Why? Well, verbs describe actions. What we do or what happens, verbs are a very crucial part of the sentence, especially the indicative present. The present tense is the main engine for every core and basic sentence. You can express your needs and you can introduce yourself and you can describe the vast majority of scenarios. Another important thing is talking about the past. The official Italian past is the remote past tense. In Italian, passato remoto. However, it is very rare to find Italian talking using remote past. To the average Italian speaker, if you use the remote past, it could sound uh, pretty odd in fact, in modern spoken Italian, passato remoto, it is simply not very used. Instead, often use imperfetto, imperfect, and passato prossimo. Imperfetto indicates uh, an action that happened in the past, but its temporal collocation is relative to another event, happened in the past or in the present. That's why imperfetto is a relative tense, because it depends on another action to properly collocate the temporal line of the events. That's why it's called imperfect. If I'm going to use the imperfetto, I'm going to say Io ero un insegnante. Insegnante, male gender, because I refer to myself and I'm male. That's the reason why I use the male article un. I can also use a different form. I can use the remote past io fui un insegnante, which is technically more accurate. Because in Italian, the first example when I use the imperfetto, the sentence is not completed because imperfecto does not provide any temporal collocation per se. I should add to the sentence Io ero un insegnante prima di diventare uno youtuber. Now, in the present, I set the main events that I'm a youtuber. And then I can use the imperfect to collocate in the temporal line the matter of fact I was a teacher before becoming a youtuber. If I say uh, io ero un insegnante, gives you the idea that in the past I was a teacher. It is simple, it is functional, because I use a simple conjugation of the verb to be, I express the idea that in the past I was a teacher, however it is grammatically wise not 100% correct, because it is missing the second part when I set the correct timeline of the events. Ladies and gentlemen, class is over. I hope you enjoyed the video. If that happened, please subscribe and hit the like button. Leave any comment if you want uh, to ask any more information about Italian grammar. But most importantly, remember to speak like a genius.